American League rookie and World Series star for the New York Yankees. And this is Tops in Sports, a production of the United States Air Force. This is Kyle Rowe. Today, it's a real pleasure to talk to one of baseball's rapidly rising young stars, Tommy Tresh, American League Rookie of the Year. But first, this important announcement. On the aerospace team, there's a place for tomorrow's leaders. Now in the Air Force, former serviceman Angelo Effio Barkin says, I came into the Air Force as a prior serviceman. I was sworn in late in the afternoon, about 4 o'clock. And by five, I knew what base I was going to and what rank I would have. If you aim to be a leader tomorrow, see your Air Force recruiter today. For more than half his rookie season, Tommy Tresh held down the vital position of shortstop for the champion New York Yankees. Then, with the return of Tony Kubek from the Army, young Tresh was shifted overnight to the outfield. Could you tell us, Tommy, how you felt about that abrupt change? Stepping right into the big league outfield scared me just a little, but the way Ralph talked and the confidence uh, he showed gave me confidence, I think, and uh, so I stepped right out there, and uh, I think I did a pretty good or an adequate job anyway out there for not having played it. I'd say more than adequate, Tommy. Could you tell me, did you find left field at Yankee Stadium as tricky as they say it is? Well, I found them, all of them had... Uh, like the stadium, of course, the shadows, and then the, the left field fence gave me a little trouble. And then in Boston, the short fence gave me a little trouble because I was balls that I thought I should get, I'd run back and I'd run into the wall, you know. <laughs> Tommy, and of course, in that last series game at Candlestick Park, I think you outfielders had a real maddening time of it, chasing after twisting fly balls, didn't you? We sure did, Kyle. Uh, I just... Uh, Every time a ball come my direction, I'd start saying a little prayer. <laughs> but, Tommy, now we come to the big catch of the series, the one you made on Willie Mays in the seventh inning, the one everyone regards as the game-saving stab because Willie McCovey followed with a triple. Did you think you would get to that drive by Mays as it kept hooking away? Well, Kyle, when the ball left Willie's bat, I thought for sure that I was going to make the play. But into that strong wind, the ball was really hooking quite a bit towards the line, and as I... The more I ran, uh, the less I thought I had a chance of catching it. And uh, right at the last, just at the last minute, I made a lunge in and the ball stuck right in the tip of my web. And uh, as soon as the ball hit in the webbing, I threw my right hand over the webbing and grabbed the ball with both hands in because there's a, there's a wall right there and I knew I was going to hit the wall. But, Tommy, of course, that was the outstanding catch of the World Series. And you also hit one of the outstanding homers, the one off Jack Sanford, which won the fifth game. Which gives you the biggest kick as you look back at it now, the game-winning homer or the game-winning catch? Well, of course, uh, they're both thrilled, but I have to say the home run, uh, without a doubt, because the way I feel about the catch, uh, at the time that I made the catch, it wasn't a big play. As it turned out, it was a big play because McCovey followed with a triple. When I hit the home run, I just knew we were going to win because nobody was going to take that away from me, you know? <laughs> well, I do know, Tom, and I know, too, that you have a marvelous career ahead of you with the Yankees. Thanks very much, Tom. Okay, Kyle. That was Tommy Tresh, fans, and this has been Tops in Sports, brought to you by the United States Air Force. This is Kyle Rowe. Tops and Sports is written by Dick Young and produced by Brad Simpson for the United States Air Force in cooperation with this station. They took the blue from the skies and the pretty girl's eyes and the touch of old glory.